White. It is a beautiful fall day in Clare at Cops and Donuts. And who should we run into but Terry Lindy, author extraordinaire from the Clare, Michigan area, originally a best-selling author, I guess you could say, because she's got some very popular books that are on Amazon.com. Tell us a little bit about what you have here, Terry. You've been in uh, writing books for how long now? Hi, I've only been writing books for a couple years, and my first book is Wolf by Sly, which is about a fictional uh, town in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, okay. and it's about a fictitious lighthouse. The name of the town is called Wolf Eye, okay. and it's called Wolf Eye Sly because it's about a con man that comes to town and he's trying to pull something on the town, and also there's a buried treasure in town. It's a bit of a romantic mystery, and it takes some members of the town to figure out what's going on. Goodness, and yeah. then I wrote a sequel to it, uh, Wolf Eye Alibi, so it, it picks up at the end of this book and takes off with the second book. Um, this summer, this book went to the, an Amazon bestseller list for romantic mystery. So, romantic mystery. Yes. You love a good romance. Yes. And a good mystery. Combine those together and you've got a great series. I love it. And people seem to like it. It's been getting really good reviews. Uh huh. So what got you into wanting to write fiction? Oh, you know, that is an interesting story. I grew up here in Clare, Michigan. And I grew up actually a, a block away on 4th Street. And in 5th grade, I told my teacher I wanted to be a writer someday. And that year for Christmas, I asked my mom for a typewriter, and by golly, Santa Claus brought me a typewriter for Christmas that year, and I've wanted to write ever since. I, but I actually put my dream aside, and I, I went to work for the state of Michigan as a social worker, mm -hmm. and it took me until I retired to really pick up my dream and to start writing. And I was very fortunate. I entered my first book in Amazon uh, Breakthrough Novel Contest in 2014, and I went to a quarterfinalist. Oh so goodness. I was lucky. Yeah. And that, that got me a lot of readers. Yes, I, I would imagine so. Yeah. Now, this is something that uh, you dreamed about, and uh, it, it, the things just kind of lined up. Yeah. But, you know, there are cases where a lot of people kind of go against a brick wall in the world of writing. Yes, But definitely. Uh, you've got to have a lot of determination and an aspiration and that desire in your heart. A absolutely. A lot of people try to write and they have a very hard time breaking through finding readers. And another thing that has helped me is Twitter. Having a Twitter account has helped me a lot. Uh -huh. yeah. Social media outlets are just yeah. a phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. very, nowadays. very but, much. Yeah, very you've got a loyal following. You've got what, I, almost 20,000 uh, Twitter followers, I right? do. I'm over 19,000 oh and growing all the time and I love those Twitter followers because they're international. I have a lot of them in England and in mm -hmm. Europe. So yeah. yeah so what, do you, what would you suggest to an aspiring uh, writer? I mean you went through the kind of the beginnings and any uh, words of wisdom to people in the area? Yes actually one thing one tip I can give about writing these days is to join a writers club. There are a lot of writers clubs in the in all throughout the United States and what these writers clubs do is get together and critique each other's work mm -hmm. and that helps a new aspiring writer to um, weed out what's what's unpopular about their book to zone in on what is popular about their mm -hmm. book and it helps them to learn a lot mm -hmm. and you get a lot of feedback that way and you can gain a readership and yeah. another thing is to target a genre okay. because if your book falls through the cracks and if you do not have a genre uh, to find your readership it is very hard also but because I write romance and then tie it in with mystery there's a lot of a lot of readers that want to read romantic mysteries, so I was lucky that way. So you write pretty much about the area that you live in, but you kind of yes. have a, a fiction liberty in your writing. I mean, you center things around in all your books in Michigan, are they? Yes, they're so both far? in Michigan. They're both about the little town called Wolfie. Okay. But I was inspired to write it when I went to Munising, Michigan, and I took the Picture Rocks boat tour, yes. and I saw that little lighthouse off to the mm -hmm. side on Grand sure. Island. Yep. And I, the minute I saw that lighthouse, a story popped into my head. And of course, I didn't have the whole plot fleshed out, but the more I thought about it, the more the plot came together. And that was my inspiration. It was mm -hmm. Munising, Michigan. So it's now, so beautiful. Yeah. You said that uh, this is a sequel. Yes. Now, is it the same characters? Uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Right. Uh, the, the, the first book is a romance, and um, it ends with them going to get married. The second book picks up at their wedding, and a terrible thing happens at the wedding. 
Uh, the bride and groom get arrested before they can say their I do's. And um, it's the bad guy again from this book, and he has a part in, in breaking up their wedding. And so then, then of course, that mystery plays out throughout the whole, well, there you go. <laughs> whole book. Yeah. There you go. Well, we won't be doing any spoilers okay. here right now, so okay. we want you to, everybody to take advantage of You're okay. doing a signing here today at Couch yes. and Donuts, and yes. do you do this often? I actually know. There, okay. I, because I graduated from Claire, Michigan, mm -hmm. and, the, and Cops and Donuts is in Claire, I have a lot of friends from high school that have been asking me when can I join up with them to sign their books. Right. So uh, I asked Cops and Donuts, and they very, very nicely offered for me to come okay. here and so well, we're going to have a lot of a yeah. lot of, a lot of uh, fans here today I, I would hope expect so. I hope and so. I tell you what now if somebody wanted to get a copy of it would you suggest going to amazon.com or do you have a, a website that they can order directly from or what um, I do have a website but the best way is to go right to amazon.com okay. under my author name Terry Lindy okay. which is L the best way to spell it L Y N D I E okay. Terry and okay. then both of these books would pop up okay. and I'm currently writing the third book to ah, this third one. yeah so okay. the third one will pop up on there well I'll tell you what we'll do under this interview on our <laughs> Facebook sites and our, our, our special websites we'll put a link directly to amazon.com so people can watch this interview and oh, say hey there it is let's, wonderful. Pick up, let's go for it wonderful. so that'll be wonderful oh, so we wonderful. hope you keep us informed of what you're doing next are you going to get let us have any info of uh, what the next book is going to be, or yes. you probably have to read the first two. To well, the first book <laughs> leads right into the second, okay. and then the second book leads right into the third, okay. and at the third book, these couple that were trying to get married are trying to get married again, oh my. and um, there's a bit of a, a mess up that happens. Oh boy. <laughs> so, okay. so then it takes off from there, because you see at this wedding it turned into a food fight, a <laughs> big food fight, throwing wedding cake, and oh so goodness. at this end of this book they have guards to guard the cake and okay. a bit of a mess up happens. Well, it sounds exciting. It sounds like a book you can curl up to <laughs> yeah. on a snowy day. In a front lot of, of fire. jokes. It is comedy. Is, is it? Okay. Yes, yes it right. is. Yes. You seem to have a sense of humor. I hope a so. Good sense of humor. <laughs> People I, say I do. You come from a fairly big family, don't you? I do. I have five sisters. Yeah. Five uh, sisters. Whoop, there's there's some of them. There's two of them. Where'd the other one go? <laughs> <laughs> I had a table of them. <laughs> yes, yes. So you yeah. come from the Claire area. Yes, I do. And uh, yep. come from a very supportive family, I would imagine. I do. And Claire dreams. is a very supportive town. Uh -huh. I love Claire, Michigan. Uh -huh. I love it with all my heart. And I graduated from here, and it's always going to be my hometown. Right. But you live other other place? I live in Cadillac, Michigan not, currently. Not too yes. Far. Not too far. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Well, Terry, thank you very much for sharing. <laughs> thank and we'll you. look for many things. Positive coming out of the, the mind and the pen of uh, Terry Lindy. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. You have a great day and best of luck. Thank you.